right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mark the Hammer Coleman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Ooh, what a punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Flush right hand is true. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Able to check that kick as well. Lee's kick is blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Taken down by Coleman. Under two minutes now to go in the round. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back to his feet. Nice head kick. Pretty good right hand. Effective punch there by Corbett. When you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. There's no tell on that leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick land. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Is all about that left kick to the body. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Coleman gets hit with a kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice 
job to block the strike there, and then counters with an effective hook. So a nice sequence on the feet there by Coleman. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. How good is that right hand? Goes back to that left kick once again. Coleman gets touched by that kick there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, nice, nice. Straight right hand now, just misses. What a punch. Coleman's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice one, two there. Oh, big head kick. Coleman's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice. Coleman gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And he landed the right hand there. The right hand just misses. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And he caught the kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He's gonna try to take him down. Oh, perfect entry to slam him down. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. He connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Coleman gets touched by that kick to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Slips the punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Left hand punch from the clinch. Damaging punch there. 20 seconds to go. Big power shot there. That kick blocked by Lee. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, misses with the jet. Good All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA 
UFC. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Dig and kick. Work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, strong punch there by Cole. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Nice jab by Lee. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, just misses with the kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big body kick land. Back and forth we go here. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Cable inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch land. Ooh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee getting tattooed by that stiff jab. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Connects with the right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster at the gym finally putting it together here in Rock. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. Just going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. That's a big strike right there. Head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Leg kick checked by Lee. Hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Coleman's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Slips that left hand. They continue to exchange. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Very that body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. What a tricky head kick. 20 seconds left. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ten seconds to go. Effective punch there by Cole. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining Ready? rounds. We'll see how it goes Ready? in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens if two very skilled, very easily match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Sneaky head kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful head kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Don't get down with that hook. Keep your hands up. You got to whip his hips into that kick. Connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tied. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Punch over the top. Again, back into his position. Liver kick. Coleman's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Right hand upstairs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand on point. Great punch. Right at the elbow. Under two minutes to go in the round. Visibly limping here. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, at this point of the fight, he's way up on the judges' scorecards. And from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he can fight all night. He does a fantastic job of fighting at a great pace, but also knowing exactly where to preserve and well, to conserve the energy and it's showing when you look at his gas tank and it seems as though it's still full. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Head kick. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Final minute. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside. 
a high crotch. Oh. Takes him for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, honestly, I'm <laughs> I knew that was coming. Never... <laughs> Close guard. to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Unable to land with that punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. 10 seconds to go in round four. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. Round, guys, and look ready? at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for field, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh man, head kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Nice straight punch. Real sneaky body kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look to the head there by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Whoa, whoa, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Knee to the body. An obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Two minutes now to go in this one. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. 
checks that leg kick. Outstanding kick there by Coleman. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Less than a minute now to go in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. That mount now. Lee's got his back yet again. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guy who starts throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Great punch, landed with so much power. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Join the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish 